Hey everyone, welcome back to Time to Educate. I really think I need a jingle for this, but I haven't figured it out yet. So if anyone out there has any jingles, let me know. In the meantime, uh, today's cake is about voting. Something that's on everyone's minds, I really, really hope. As you can see, I've got three things on my mind. Register, show up, and vote. And my cake, which I think is lovely, has a couple of issues with it. I mean, it really could have been a little neater and there are things that didn't come out exactly how I wanted and that's fine. Usually the perfectionist in me would have tried to fix this up and you know, done it over or made it look nicer. But here's the thing, just like our country, just like democracy, things aren't always gonna be perfect and you still have to get out there and do what you can. So here's my cake and we're gonna talk about all the things that we can do to make sure that this upcoming election, we do our part and make a difference. So I hope you enjoy seeing this cake. I'm gonna go over some resources that are gonna be useful, whether you're looking to register, whether you're trying to figure out your plan so you can show up, or whether you're just trying to figure out exactly what to vote for and who to vote for, because there's a lot of different things out there that you might not be aware of, and your ballot is more than just who you're gonna pick for the president. So, you know, it's good to figure those things out. Hope you enjoy the video. Starting it off with a shimmy for democracy. I had a lot of fun making this cake and if you're living in Rhode Island, Alaska, or South Carolina, you need to pause this video because today is the last day to register to vote. So go ahead, I'm gonna take this little dance break, okay? And you go register to vote. Check out my website if you need to know what to do. Okay, now hopping back at it for everyone who's still here and for those of you who returned. I decided to make this cake because we're about to do one of the most patriotic things that we can, which is vote in a presidential election. And for some people, there's information that you just don't have access to yet or you're not sure where to get it. And my hope is that with this cake and with my blog post, you'll be able to figure out what it is that you need to know. There are a lot of great resources out there that I'm going to be pointing out to you. Please check out the blog post and go to those websites because they're going to guide you through every single step of this process. The website that I highly recommend is When We All Vote. Uh, you can do everything there from registering to vote, checking your registration, um, to prepping your ballot, which is great. If you go to BallotReady.org, that's another great website. Um, they'll be able to help you kind of see what's on your ballot and figure out who you want to vote for and all the questions that are actually going to be on your ballot because sometimes you know when you get there the day of you realize you weren't aware that certain things were going to be asked and you don't really know who to vote for <laughs> so it's always a good idea to plan ahead even though i didn't tell everyone to get off and go check the registration right away please keep in mind that 11 states have their registration deadlines tomorrow so even though you didn't leave earlier in this video make sure that by the end of this video you do go and you check the resources that i'm making available to you just double check your registration even if you voted every single day every single time in the past um, and if you've never done it just make sure you go register and if you're all set then please talk to your friends talk to your family make sure that everyone you know is registered and ready for the November 3rd election. Now, some of you may be wondering why you shouldn't bother voting, or maybe you're questioning if your vote will even make a difference, or maybe you're convinced that because of where you live, it won't make a difference. And it's understandable to have some doubts and questions right now, given the current circumstances within our country. But I want you to know that your vote does matter. It absolutely will make a difference. And it's extremely necessary that we all exercise this right that we have and get out there and put out our vote. If our votes didn't matter, then voter suppression wouldn't exist. So make sure you have a plan to vote. I highly recommend checking out knowabetterballot.com. It'll allow you to look through your state's requirements and deadlines and see when you need to register for early voting and when you can do mail-in ballots and information like that. If you do go the mail-in ballot route, please understand that there are other ways that you can send in your ballots, depending on the state that you're in, that avoid using the mailing system if you're concerned about that. And you can also track your ballot in certain places. So I really think that's a great option to use. And if you're already registered and planning to vote, then consider volunteering your time or donating money to any of the causes that exist to make sure that every single person who can vote does vote. WhenWeAllVote.org and VoteSaveAmerica.com both have excellent resources on action steps that you can take to make a difference with this upcoming election. So I highly recommend that you check them out. And one of the best things you can do is consider becoming a poll worker. Because of COVID-19, understandably, there are a lot of people who aren't able to be poll workers this year. 
because historically, poll workers tend to be older, and unfortunately, older individuals are more at risk of having severe complications from COVID-19. So if you're not immunocompromised and your risks of COVID-19 are not as high and you feel comfortable, then I would highly suggest considering becoming a poll worker because it's something that we need. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out timetoeducate.com and the description box for any links below.